गुड मॉर्निंग वीवर्स वेलकम टू अवर कविता अशोक एजुकेशनल चैनल फॉर मैथमेटिक्स दो आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब प्लीज सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल इट विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यूर फ्यूचर सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ द सेट्स दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विन डायग्राम so what is venn diagram venn diagram is a pictorial or diagrammatical representation of sets a pictorial or diagrammatical representation of sets so in case of venn diagram everything will change suppose set is there this set will becomes a circle in case of venn diagram what set will becomes circle and universal set universal set will becomes a rectangular box this is the universal set if you want to represent a set in venn diagram suppose if we want to represent a set a is equal to a b c d we want to represent this in a venn diagram form we will represent like this a is equal to example a is equal to first we will take the rectangular box universal set and we will set a this is a set and it contains a comma b comma c comma d elements so we will represent like this here this is a venn diagram form of a set now how can we represent a union b a intersection b a minus b everything we will discuss now let's right. take one problem a is equal to suppose 1 2 3 and b is equal to 2 3 4 5 now we will represent one by one by using our venn diagrams look at here now first a as usual previously we explained how can we represent first we will take the rectangular box this is a universal set and this is a this contains 1 comma 2 comma 3 elements so this is a venn diagram form of the set a the same manner b we will take set set b here universal set b and this is equal to 2 3 4 5 5 without the universal set there is a there is no meaning of a set so whenever we want to represent definitely we will take the rectangular box universal set then only it is correct now first a union b whenever we want to represent a union b first we will check whether there is a common element or not in these two sets uh, 2 comma 3 elements are common so that's why one is overlapped on the other like this this is a and this is b and this is a universal set a union b in this is first common elements 2 3 this is a common area of both of the sets A contains one, two, three. Two, three is already there. We will write one here. B contains two, two, three, four, five. Two, three is already there. We will write like this here. So A union B in the sense here, the total part. If the elements are given, just write down the elements. Otherwise, A union B shared the total part of this one. Sometimes. if there is no el no element common a union b if the problem is like this here a is equal to suppose 1 2 and b is equal to 3 comma 4 is there then we want to write a union b so there is no common element so then the set will becomes like this so there is no connection here 1 comma 2 here and 3 comma 4 here 
then shade the total part again. So the difference is here. Here, some common elements are there. Means not disjoint sets. These two are not disjoint sets. And these two are disjoint sets. When the disjoint sets are there, the A union B, B will become like this here. This is about A union B. Now, A intersection B. Again, common elements are there. Common elements are there in the sense here. Not disjoint. Not disjoint in the sense, the problem will be like this. A and B. This is a universal set. The elements, common elements are here. In these two sets, common elements are 2, comma 3. So, we will write like this here. Just to share this part. This is the intersection part. According to this, this is 1 and 4, comma 5. This shaded part is the answer for our intersection. Suppose the problem is like this. Then A intersection B will become there is no connection. This is A and this is B. So A intersection B no connection is there. That's why this is simply null set. No common area is there. That's why A intersection B is like this. So according to that the, if the given sets are not disjoint, the answer will be like this. If the given sets are disjoint, the answer will be like this. Here 1, comma 2 and 3, comma 4. Just we will write the elements, but that is the symbolic form for the null set. And some more problems we will take. Now, A minus B. A minus B in the sense here, right? First we will write A, 1, 2, 3. Minus B in the sense 2. 3, 4, 5. We already discussed about A minus B. A minus B means A only part. Those elements which are common to both, it will be cancelled. So here 2 is common, cancel this one. 3 is common, cancel this one. The answer will become here only 1. So how can you represent this in Venn diagram? Look at it now. We will take like this here, universal set. Common elements are there, so that's why overlapping is there. And this is A and this is B. Common element 2 comma 3, right? First here set contains A1 here and this contains 4 comma 5, right? A minus B in the sense only A means this is a part. So whenever we want to solve the problem, we will solve like this. By using Venn diagram in the sense, this is the solution. Our ordinary simplification in the sense we will write like this. This is about A minus B. Now, the same manner, what about B minus A? Once you will guess, first we will calculate B minus A here. B minus A in the sense, first we will write B, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, 2, 3, common elements, 2, sorry. 2, 3 common, 2, 3 common, B minus A, the elements B, 4 comma 5. No concentration on this, no concentration on this. Whenever we are finding A minus B, A only part, B minus A, B only part. So the answer will be 4 comma 5. How can we represent? Again universal set, this is A and this is B, 2, 3 common elements, 1 and 4, 5. Now B only part, this is a part. This is A minus B and this is B minus A. Sometimes they may ask like this. A minus B union B minus A. Then that is equal to A minus B in the sense here 1. B minus A in the sense 4 comma 5. Union in the sense we are keeping all the elements in A back. So all elements we can get 1, 4, 5. And the Venn diagram will become A minus B union B minus A is equal to and same we will take the diagram like this universal set A B what are the common elements here common elements 2 comma 3 and this is 1 and this is 4 comma 5 we want A minus B union B minus A A minus B in the sense this part shade this part and B minus A in the sense this part this is very 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 important question in the annual exam a minus b union b minus a representation 
we can also call this as a delta b that is a symmetric difference of b this is symmetric difference symbol a delta b and this is also equal to a union b minus a intersection b also so sometimes they may give the question show that these two are equal then also we can get the same diagram and the same answer one is a delta b and one is a union b minus a intersection b